Hey everybody, it's Ken again. So let's talk about capitalization rate. And so what usually it's called is a cap rate. And the great thing about a cap rate is there's only two things that are in a cap rate. The first thing is your annual NOI or net operating income. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, but that's basically the net cash. So think of it this way, if you've got Let's say you, uh, your paycheck comes in and you get three grand a month and your expenses are two grand a month. Your NOI is one grand a month. That's the NOI. It's just a difference between income and expenses. And then the cost of the property, whatever that is, and that's your capitalization rate. The interesting thing about capitalization rate is it's an important barometer, but it's not always what you use to invest. In other words, it, it kind of tells you which way the market's going. So before we get there, I want to talk to you a little bit about what an NOI is. So the, there's only a couple of things with an NOI. You've got your income, which is typically, let's say for me, I'm heavy in the multifamily space. It's my residents coming in and paying rent or other income, you know, for different things that might be in a multifamily unit. For a self-storage, you know, it's storage fees. For a uh, flower shop, it's selling flowers. You know, it's, it's, it's that. It, it, for a subway shop, it's, you know, selling food. For, for, a, uh, for an office building, it's, it's a tenant paying rent, you know, and renting space for an office. So it's all the income category at whatever it might be. Now, the thing that can manipulate the income would be vacancy rate. So depending on where the, you want, we are in the market cycle, you know, income could be high, it could be really strong, occupancy could be really high. So all those things are going on. And so income is a big piece of your net operating income. The expenses are, of course, everything that you would think about. So <laughs> expenses would be marketing costs and utilities and property taxes, insurance and payroll and management fees, all that stuff. Okay. And so you have a personal net operating income. Your businesses definitely have a net operating income. Your investment properties definitely have a net operating income. And guess what? The U.S. government has a net operating income. It's called GDP or gross domestic product. So, so these are all things that you need to get familiar with if, if you're buying real estate. And so as we start to look at this net operating income here, you can see that it's whatever the property is pulling in divided by the cost of that property on whatever it is that you pay. So that is how you determine the cap rate. So let's just walk through one example. Um, so we know that it's income minus expenses. And what you want to do when you're buying a piece of property is you want to look for properties that um, have income that you can grow. In other words, the last thing you want to do is buy at the top of the market or you want to buy something where the rents are the highest or the prices are the highest. I mean, it's just common sense. Same thing with a car. You know, you want to try to buy something at a good price. Well, you're doing the same thing and it's all the costs are usually based on this income. Um, and you also want to take a look at, at spots where you can actually save on the expenses. Because if you can grow your income and save on your expenses, then you're going to grow your net operating income. And that's how you're going to grow the value of the real estate. So let me just walk you through some real life examples. So here is a building that we paid, let's say $1 million for and it has a net operating income, an NOI, of $100,000. So if you take the $100,000 NOI and you divide it by the one million that you paid, then you've paid what's, a, what's called a 10% cap rate or capitalization rate, okay? That's how it works. Here's the cool part. What we're trying to do here, guys, is we're trying to increase this. So how can you grow the net operating income? So there's a lot of ways, and that's the secret sauce of investing, in my opinion. Because what we're trying to do is grow this NOI, because as you grow the NOI, then you grow the value of the property at the same time. So for example, maybe this property has a $100,000 NOI, but it's got, let's say, 30% vacancy right now, for example, okay? So if you could increase that vacancy, 
or if you could increase that occupancy down and, and get that down to 10%, let's say, then for sure, because your expenses are pretty fixed, your income's going to go up. So you might grow this to 120 NOI or 130 NOI, depending on the rents are what they are inside of that building. So that's the whole game here, is you want to try to buy these at the right cap rate, and you actually want to, 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 to sell them at a low cap rate. So we have this term in the industry, when you're buying, is what's your exit cap rate? Because you want your exit cap rate to be a lot lower than the cap rate that you're buying. And that's the most important thing of everything I've said. You want your cap rate to be higher when you buy and your exit cap rate to be lower if you do sell. So thank you very, very much. If you guys are interested, we go into a lot more detail on this in my, uh, in my videos on KenMacroy.com and you can see all kinds of information on the NOI and, the, and how to calculate it and how to grow the NOI and of course, how to buy correctly and to maximize your cap rate. So again, thank you guys very much for listening.